Hi everyone, I am Anna and Inktober started today. I wanted to start the month with the biggest drawing while I still have the energy for it. I use hot pressed watercolor paper from Hanemühle, fine liners and Indian ink. To determine which of my fine liners I want to use, I test them on a strip of paper next to the drawing. For the outlines I use the 005 from Stedler and for the details the 003 from Unipin. For those who don't know what Inktober is, it's an annual challenge where you make an ink drawing every day of the month of October. You can get inspiration from 31 different prompts, but rules are made to be broken. I don't know if I have the time to make a drawing every day. My husband and I have some appointments this month and other things that take up a lot of time. But I'll take the opportunity to draw as much as I can and then I'll see where I end up. I don't want to stress about it. I'd rather have a handful of nice illustrations at the end of the month that I'm happy with than have 31 simple doodles. I did cheat a bit, because for this drawing I started a little earlier. It's a fairly large illustration and I also wanted to make a voiceover for this video. For the rest of the month I probably won't doing any voiceovers and just showing you the time lapse of my drawings. I was inspired by this photo I found on unsplash.com and of course I changed some things, like the cat and the dog, and some smaller details. It was not my intention at first to work out the drawing in so much detail with a pen, since I also do an ink wash on top of it, but once I started with the cat, I couldn't stop myself from drawing all the tiny marks. Then I had to proceed with the details throughout the drawing to stay consistent. In retrospect I'm glad I did, because I'm very satisfied with the end result. I didn't really have a plan in my head from start to finish how I wanted to work out the drawing. I just started with the parts I was pretty sure about and slowly worked my way up to the other parts. Sometimes you just have to start to see where your work ends. Although this is very smooth watercolor paper, it's still a bit rougher than drawing paper made specifically for pen applications. In my case that worked to my advantage. Ink is very permanent. The line you draw is either there or it isn't. But the type of paper certainly makes a big difference. If you use a light hand while barely scratching the paper, especially with a thin pen like the 003, the lines are very light and you can create gray scales. This is especially useful in the areas with redder wood. Therefore it's a good idea to think in advance about what you want to make and which drawing surface you will use. While I'm not using the prompts associated with Inktober this year, this one might go well with number 21, Bad Dog. Two years ago, one of my Inktober drawings was a dog that messed up the kitchen and stole some food. It was not my intention, but this is a similar illustration. The story behind this that I came up with was that the father of a family is chopping wood outside. His mouth is already watering when he thinks of the lunch he prepared inside. But the children have left the door open to play and the cat and the dog sneaked into the shed and smelled the roast chicken on the stove. What a surprise for the hard working guy when he soon enters the shed rattling with hunger and seeing that only bones have left. What's your background story to this illustration? Let me know in the comments below. For now I'll let you enjoy the time lapse.
It's been a while since I've used Indian ink to paint with. When I was about to start the ink wash, I suddenly found out that the ink had dried out. It had become more of a gel, so I had to buy a new jar. I'm always a bit tense to start painting, especially with such a permanent art medium. Just to be sure, I scanned the line drawing on the computer beforehand, in case I messed up with the ink application. I prepared jars of diluted ink from light to dark. Just like I did with the pens in the beginning, I test the thickness of the brush and the tone of the ink on the side of the paper just outside the boundaries of the illustration. It's better to start light because you always can make it darker, but not lighter. Sometimes I wet the paper first with a clean brush and then dip ink in it. It then flows nicely onto the paper, creating a completely different texture than when you apply ink to dry paper. What's your favorite art medium? Are you participating in Inktober this year? Let me know, I'm very curious.
The illustration is ready. How do you think it turned out? I'm very satisfied with it. Would you like to see more of these types of drawings? You can subscribe for free for more content. I have a lot of drawings planned for the rest of the month. Have a nice day, until next time.